Oh, this is a gag here. There's a love this gag of of introducing where Bum thinks he's on a mission from the future. He say he has set an alarm. Oh, uh, here for all you do-it-yourselfers out there doing your own web yourself. series. Just I want you to be okay with something. I want everyone to be okay with completely screwing up. So as you'll notice here, this scene he's got a, he's opening up his phone, phone. flip phone, flip phone from you know 1999 or 2001, whatever. But there's no milkshake in his left hand, which in the previous shot there was before. And so just to remind everybody, it's just me. I'm lighting it. I'm shooting it. I'm directing it. I'm, I'm doing everything. You're trying to maintain co uh, continuity. It's not because Mark didn't want to be there. I think Mark was doing robotic camera on Big Brother, what, 20,000? 20, 20,000 at that point. Yeah. So he's, he's, he's doing a network show. Well, what's <laughs> I mean, if we could talk a little bit about our personal lives. Milkshake... I, oh man, this is this is getting this commentary is getting messy. But I will say this: you have to really love what you're doing when you're doing something like this, because milkshake has stayed with us as jobs have gone away. Like, yeah, I we went from Big Brother to Hell's Kitchen to other shows to Dead other files. jobs, Dead, Dead Files, files and that's just that's just Phil and I, Danny and Ned and whoever this bum character is. <laughs> <laughs> have all gone through different phases in their life over the one year that we've been working on this series. And the one constant has always been milkshake. Yeah. So, you know, and especially for Phil, Phil's put a lot of time and energy and as he says, he's doing a lot he was doing a lot of this by himself and learning a lot of it on set. And I think it really speaks to how much you have to believe in what you're doing to really make a go of trying to create something like this. But now that we're done Filating ourselves. Filating ourselves, yes. Yeah, so our, our auto, what is it? Auto? Autoerotic. No, autoplacia. Autoplacia. Yeah, no, we're done with that. Spell that. Um, I, you just, for, you just be okay with making a mistake. This is a mistake here that I, I see every time. And if we keep going, we'll see in the next shot. He's got the milkshake in his hand. Um, you know, we cut to Danny. That, there's the milkshake. But I don't. You don't see it, but I do. Nobody sees it. Because I, I just, it drives me crazy every time. But you, but it's gonna, but it's gonna happen because mm -hmm. there, you don't have a whole crew. There's no follow car. There's no production car. There's no script supervisor. This is our, oh, this is a reshoot here. This little moment here where Bum is talking about the, the why he's in the, the past is to see this band and to save a life. But yeah. th this is a late, late rewrite. Like, why the hell is he? Why the hell is Bum? Why is this even happening? Yeah. What? How? A, a. Can we even fulfill this promise of him being from the future and? B, why is he in the past? And C, how do we make it funny? And I thought this, you know, I thought it was funny. Mark thought it was funny. Oh, and then finally the clue that he handed him. I love red herrings. I love uh, having a... <laughs> this is what got him in the car. This is why we're here. This is what's happening. And the clue is a child's drawing of a cup, apparently. 